This is Justin Bieber, by the way. We got kicked off the lawn. Yeah, we got kicked off the lawn, kicked off in the in the studio. So we're in the car. Um, yeah. I, I, I would love to say that we set this up, but we didn't. And this is what we got, and uh, this is what you're going to get. This is this is gonzo journalism. This guy's been around for 15 years. Not been quite. Around, yeah, 15 years. Not quite in the industry on earth for 15 years. So this is the first of the crazy stuff that's going to be happening. So, Justin, I'm, I would love to say, hey, so how'd you get started? But we all know. Okay. How many times have you been asked, you know, about the YouTube videos and yeah. Timberlake and all that stuff? Yeah, I've had to answer that question about five million times. But you're done. We all, we all, we already know that. Now let's talk about the album. Okay. Tell me about, about it. it. All right, well, the album comes out November 17th. It is called My World. Um, it's just going to be a lot of fun. I got to work with a lot of great producers. Um, work with Tricky and the Dream, who wrote a lot of hits for um, Mariah Carey, Obsessed, uh, Rihanna, um, Umbrella. So so I've been very blessed to be able to work with a lot of cool producers. Um, and, yeah. Hmm. So you are musically inclined. Do you have a family that's also musically inclined? I have a fa I have a family that is um, somewhat musically inclined. I mean, my grandma's a great pianist, and she's very like she's very she's a great singer and stuff. My dad can sing um, somewhat. My mom is um, can sing somewhat too. But mm. yeah. first mem memory of music. First memory of music. I was like two years old, and I, I started drums at about two years old. Yeah, so that's probably the first memory. I'm trying to think if you have an accent. You're from Canada. What, what part of Canada? Um, near Toronto. I've been living in Atlanta for about a year and a half, so I kind of have a southern, kind of a little bit. You picked that up that quick? Yeah, I don't know why. Why Atlanta? Uh, because that's where Usher is based out of, my manager, and I recorded most of my album there, so. Is your stuff still up online on YouTube, the the, the original stuff? Yeah. Yep. You're giving it away, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Mm. So, are you eventually, so eventually you're going to have to make music videos, and do you have any concept of what that's going to be like, or have you started that already? Oh, yeah. I came up with my first music video. It was actually a one-time video. It's actually on YouTube and on iTunes and stuff. I actually just shot my second music video. It's not out yet. Oh, it's for my second single, Lonely Girl, which is coming out um, soon also. So I'm very excited. 15 years. He's plugging like a, a, a an animal here. It's like, uh, he's got all the dates. He's got everything going. That's all right. It's, that's how you make money, and you're, you're doing a fine job. You uh, you want to do any acting or anything? Yeah, I definitely want to do acting. Um, just trying to move forward. I actually was in this, uh, just briefly in this movie called School Girls. It's going to be on Nickelodeon. Also, tomorrow, I think I'm, or I'm shooting uh, something for True Jackson and another TV show on Nickelodeon. Hmm. Now, uh, I think you mentioned that uh, you come up from a, a simple background we did some background on you and uh what was it like i mean w w tell me about the simple background you had when you're when you're upbringing more or less yeah i mean i wasn't i didn't have a, like a lot of money i didn't grow up in, in a house that had a lot of money so and also my parents uh broke up when i was very little so um i still have a great relationship with my dad and mom but live with my mom she moved with me to the states uh so good to see my dad every so often but um just just having um just having not a lot makes me appreciate what I'm what I'm going through right now. You look more like your mom or dad. Uh, I look like both of them. That would make sense because you're a, a lot more like just like mix between them both. I mean, like it's weird because I got like my dad's eyes, my dad's nose, my, my mom's lips. Like I don't know. Teeth. You take good care of teeth. Look at that. Teeth. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's a set of teeth right there. <laughs> Dennis is proud. Uh, now, how about, how about siblings? You the only child? Doctor Braun is very proud. Yeah, I got a little sister. Um, she is like a year and six months old. A year and six months. So she's probably only got the drums and trumpet down. So she's she's got a few more things. She's that, got a few more things to go. <laughs> are you? I mean, when did you start learning? Because you, you you do a lot of things. You do the drums. You do. How, what do you play? Well, I started out with the drums, then moved to piano when I was about five or six, and then guitar at like eight or nine, and then trumpet when I was like. Four. 13. Wait, 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 wait. So drums early because you were young and... Just on stuff, right? Yeah, but, yeah, but five five years old, why did you want to sit down and learn something? Why don't you just want to go out and bounce off walls? It was at, like, church. I would just, like, play on the keys, and then, like, people would show me stuff, and I would try to do what they did, and then I just, like, liked music. I really had a passion for music. Clearly. Uh, one time, uh, what do you like most about the, the, the song? Uh, it's just a lot of fun, like... It's it's a really fun song to jam out to in your car. I mean, it's it's a lot of teens and stuff can relate to it. Um, it's just it's a great song. It's a fun song. 
Yeah, love. You, you sing a little bit about love sometimes, right? Yeah, like yeah, sing a lot about love. Uh, what do you know about love? Not that I do. <laughs> I'm considerably older than you, and I, I still have a little problem with understanding what it is. What do you know about it? Um, I, I think it feels good. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not a key, I'm not an expert about love or anything. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to get the process, but like. You need another year and a half or so before you're an expert. Yeah, a year and a half. <laughs> you got a girlfriend or anything? No, I'm single. Oh, you're single. Okay, so let me jot that single down. And single. Ready to mingle. Yes, you can write single and ready to mingle down there. Yeah, well, I'm sure the, the ladies, 15 and under. Or no, I, how, how old are the girlfriends you date? Uh, the oldest is like 16 and a half. 16. Older woman. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, I, it's, I, I fall in love. I, I mean, I'll go out with anyone I really fall in love with, I guess. And you just know that from some feeling inside. Yeah. Look at you. Go for that, man. That, that works for me. Uh, Lonely Girl, you, you sang that for us. Uh, tell me about that song. Um, It's actually going to be my second single. Um, Just this feels so weird. We're in the back of a car. Um, But, yeah, anyways. Single. This is the first of the, 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 like I said, the crazier things. Is, is you just got to get it done. And whenever it happens, you just go out there and get it done. Yeah, so this is my. it's going to be my second single basically about this girl who was dating this guy but broke up with her so then he, she i want to make her because she's lonely one less lonely girl and da, 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 and yeah you ever cry of a girl yet uh no not yet you're doing the breakouts i'm guessing i mean good looking yeah. kid you got the rock and roll thing and it's like mm, yeah sorry honey i gotta move on uh, you break no, their world up no 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 um no i really haven't dated a lot of girls um dated a couple i mean but like i don't know just trying to get this whole love thing down yeah, another year or so, you'll be saying, you know, Chris, that's really none of your business. So we're getting you at a good time right now. You're being like uh, all open, all, all open and honest with us. <laughs> what about the rest of the album? Tell me what's uh... oh, the rest of the album. Uh, like I said, I just got to work with a lot of great producers. Worked with um, Tricky and the Dream, Midi Mafia. Um, who else? Um, I worked with Brian Michael Cox. Um, who wrote uh, You Got a Bad for Usher, like just a lot of cool people. So I'm very, very, uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun, this album. You're meeting a lot of people already, right? Yeah, I got to meet like a lot of people. Mm. Now you're 15, so that means you're probably still in school. So how's that work? Um, I'm doing a lot of school like online as well as like on my tutor. She sometimes travels with me, so I still get my schoolwork done. Which, uh, what are your study habits? How do you do that? Um, what do you mean, like, when do I do it and, like, when do I find time? Like, I just do it whenever I f fit in space, but, like, a lot of times they have it in the schedule where I just do school and stuff because I know, like, as well as my mom, like, really thinks it's important. I think it's important as well as, like, my label. They they really stress school as well. Any subject you're better than others? Uh, I'm better at, like, English. I know I like to write and stuff. No French? Um, yeah, I speak French. Fluent? Yeah, je peux parler en français très bien. Et toi? Okay, that's going to help with the girls, too, I'm guessing. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you had Thanksgiving. You probably didn't have Thanksgiving in, uh, yeah, in Canada. In a week, I think. Yeah, what, what, what do you think of that? Um, I don't what know. Are your, what are your concepts? I mean, you, you, obviously, this is an American thing. You're from Canada. I mean, what's your concept of Thanksgiving? Anything? What, are th what do you mean? What do you, what do you think? Thanksgiving is an American. No, wait. You have it up there in Canada? Yeah. You have pilgrims and all that stuff? Yeah. You did? Yes, there's a Thanksgiving in Canada. What would you guys give thanks for? I, we just give thanks to everything. I don't know. <laughs> Our Thanksgiving is like a couple weeks before yours. Are you saying Canadians are thankful as well? Yes, I'm, I'm saying that. More research on this. I didn't I didn't research that. Really? I'm kidding. I'm just, I'm just teasing around with you. Yeah. Any uh, aspirations? What do you, I mean, obviously, this you want to get this album out there and get it moving. So. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to um, just being successful in whatever I do. Justin Bieber, he seems like he's going to be successful in everything he does, and he's going to get it done. He's going to give you all the dates. In fact, right now, and if you're watching this and those dates have passed, you you very well may have the album. It was like a sweat machine. That has nothing to do with the album, but uh, I'm sure November 17th is either coming around the corner. We've got the air conditioning on. See, you're complaining already. You're like a, you're almost like a, uh, a, a prima donna. Do you have them? Did you bring me my um, only green M&Ms? Uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to leave. I have uh, M&M's to get. But thank you very much. Hey, thanks for being a part of Fox. Thank, All you, thank you very much. <laughs> i got to get the M&M's. Hurry.